Ontario is planning to follow the lead of both Alberta and Saskatchewan, launching carbon capture projects of their own. So that involves gathering one of the main drivers of climate change and storing it underground. Mike Crawley is at Queen's Park in Toronto. That's the legislature, of course, for the province of Ontario. With the details of all of this, what is Ontario's plan for carbon capture? Uh, so Heather, uh, carbon capture it involves capturing these uh, emissions of uh, carbon dioxide from industry right at their source and then uh, the gas is liquefied and then it's pumped deep into the earth. So in effect what you're doing here is uh, stopping those emissions from getting up into the atmosphere. Now as you mentioned uh, Heather, this is going on in Alberta and Saskatchewan at a pretty large scale but until recently here in Ontario it was actually banned. Uh, there was a ban on injecting CO2 uh, underground, but under Premier Doug Ford's government, uh, they brought in legislation to repeal that ban, and now Ontario is uh, starting to set out some rules for pilot projects. So the likely candidates for carbon capture in Ontario would be things like steel mills, uh, oil refineries, cement plants, and uh, gas-fired power plants. Now I spoke with a senior official for Enbridge Gas, and they're one of the companies that's been wanting this to happen. And when we look forward to the future, uh, those hard to abate industries will, uh, will really need natural gas to, uh, to continue to, to function. So uh, carbon capture is a great way for those uh, businesses to continue to use natural gas, but also to reduce, significantly reduce their emissions. And Enbridge could itself play a role in carbon capture because once the, the CO2 emissions are, are trapped and turned into liquid, uh, they're typically transported to the underground storage by a pipeline. Is there any, I mean, pretty keen on this, obviously we heard there from the, uh, the first uh, guest to whom you spoke, Mike, but is there any opposition to this in the province? Yeah, so the main criticism that I heard about uh, carbon capture is the potential for it to cost a lot of money uh, for taxpayers. So in Saskatchewan, uh, the Crown Corporation that produces electricity there, they spent one and a half billion dollars to capture CO2 from a coal fire generating uh, station. In Alberta, the provincial government put in more than a billion dollars into a couple of carbon capture projects that, there that reduce emissions from the oil sands. So uh, the federal government also chipped in millions to those Alberta projects as well. And now uh, Ottawa is offering some pretty hefty tax credits for new carbon capture projects. Now, Ontario's uh, Minister of Natural Resources told me that uh, at least at this point, the Ford government is not funding any uh, carbon capture projects at this early stage. Here's what an environmental advocate had to say. The federal government is subsidizing carbon capture to a huge extent. I suppose if companies want to invest in that as a, as a technology or as a solution to you know deal with their emissions, that's up to a company to decide, but it's not something that taxpayers should be footing the bill for, that's for sure. So, so as for a timeline, Ontario could get going on some pilot projects as early as uh, this year, but in terms of a large scale, uh, it's likely to be at least several years before anything major gets going in the way of carbon capture in Ontario. Mike, thank you for this. Mike Crawley there at Queen's Park, live with us this morning.